As you venture into the dark depths of the unknown, prepare to be engulfed by bone-chilling tales and sinister encounters that defy rational explanation. We invite you to take a step into the shadows where the line between reality and the macabre is blurred. Be warned, for once you enter this realm of terror, there is no turning back. Welcome, dear travelers, to a world where the strange, the eerie, and the terrifying reign supreme. In April 1977, three teenagers in Dover, Massachusetts claimed to have encountered a strange creature over the course of two nights. According to their account, the creature stood about 3 to 4 feet tall, had a hairless peach-colored body, long limbs, and a disproportionately large watermelon-shaped head with glowing orange eyes. Oh my god, no. That. The witnesses reported feeling a sense of fear and unease during the encounters. The Dover Demon case has remained the subject of intrigue in the realm of paranormal and cryptozoology, although no further sightings or evidence have been documented. Whoa! What the hell was that? No, 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 no mames, no mames, no, no mames, no se vayan a parar, güey. No mames, no mames. No. On the night of August 21, 1955, in rural Hopkinsville, Kentucky, members of the Sutton family claimed to have encountered small, gremlin-like creatures. <laughs> The creatures were described as having large hands, glowing eyes, long arms with clawed hands, and a grayish skin tone. The Sutton family and other witnesses reported a series of bizarre events throughout the night, with the creatures reportedly attempting to break into the house. <laughs> Skeptics have suggested misidentification of owls or other animals as a possible explanation for the sightings, while others believe it may have been a case of exaggeration or hoaxes. Okay, okay. Where's, where's, where's the keys? I don't know. Seen it. Where's the Mothman sightings occurred in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, between November 1966 and December 1967. Witnesses reported seeing a creature described as a large winged being with glowing red eyes. It was described as being around 7 feet tall with a wingspan of 10 feet or more. The sightings were often associated with feelings of dread or foreboding. The Mothman became synonymous with the collapse of the Silver Bridge in Point Pleasant, leading to speculation about its potential connection to the tragedy. 
However, no concrete evidence linking the Mothman to the bridge collapse or any subsequent sightings has been found. Hello? Run. Is it still there? Uh -oh. On April 25, 1973, in Enfield, Illinois, witnesses reported encountering a strange creature known as the Enfield Horror. Descriptions varied, but it was often described as a creature about 4 to 5 feet tall with a grayish color, three legs, large red eyes, and sharp claws. I've been joking. That one. That one. Oh, hell no. Go, 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 go. Witnesses reported feeling threatened and pursued by the creature, which reportedly emitted a high-pitched screech. The case gained local attention, but there have been no further confirmed encounters or evidence related to the Enfield Horror. On September 12, 1952, in Flatwoods, West Virginia, a group of witnesses claimed to have seen a large, strange creature after witnessing a bright object in the sky. The creature, known as the Flatwoods Monster or Braxton County Monster, was described as being over 10 feet tall, with a spade-shaped head, glowing red eyes, a metallic-like body and a skirt-like lower portion. The f is that? Oh. Witnesses reported a strong, pungent odor in the air. The incident gained significant attention, and it has become a notable case in ufology and cryptozoology. However, skepticism remains, with some suggesting the sightings were influenced by hysteria or misidentification of natural phenomena. As we conclude this bone-chilling expedition into the realm of mysterious encounters and terrifying creatures, we hope that your journey has left you with a lingering sense of intrigue and newfound appreciation for the enigmatic forces that surround us. These tales serve as a reminder that there are still mysteries lurking in the shadows, waiting to be explored and understood. But remember, as you step back into the light, let caution be your guide and skepticism your shield. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.